Okay, hey Magitonians, we're back. All right, now, all I'm gonna do with this video is to describe the wires that are coming out of the mechanical chassis right here in a brief little five minute lecture, okay? So, we have wires coming out of our power transformer. Now, when you go to put your power transformer into Lux or any tweed, it's not oriented, say like a Marshall is where it'll have two holes in the chassis that has to come through. Um, you can, this transform will fit this way or 180 degrees and the wires of course come out of one hole. So, if we, Look at the transformer as a whole, and all, the, all these wires that are coming out of it are what there is called a primary and secondary windings. Um, and across the board, typically speaking, for vintage, let's say pre-78 fender stuff, uh, all your secondaries were real colorful, um, but your primaries were usually just black or black and white, or they would have some kind of variation of black with some kind of stripe on it. So. I know that these are all our primaries, and for 120 volt, all we're going to be concerned with is the white and the black, and that is our 120 volt primary. These other wires here will actually be clipped and heat shrunk so that the tips are not touching each other and tucked away. Okay. Now, you want to leave enough room here so that when we're wiring this up, um, you can actually attach one of these if necessary to the actual fuse holder or the, the switch depending on you know how you want to wire it um, and the reason I say that is you want to leave length is because here in the past few years um, Europe and Asia and Scandinavia and some other random parts say Russia uh, have been sucking these amps up left and right and one of the major selling points for these are that okay it was made in the States um, they can't get enough of American made vintage style amps that are actually made in America because that's what we do. We're good at that. We're the best in the world at it. But they want to be able to switch one wire or add a cord to it and use it on their wall voltage and this allows you to do that. So it actually increases the value of the amp um, because you get a lot of service members and we have a lot of service members that you know that will buy these for you know the station over in Europe or, or, or Asia or you know wherever and they like to build these on their free time and they'll sell them to the locals, which is really cool because it, it gets that culture out there. Um, and we're also, you know, keep in mind, we're talking about an amp that's, geez, came out in, oh, man, 50, well, the five C3s were 55, 56, I believe. So, I mean, they're 60-something years old. I mean, it's crazy how old these things are. And they're, they're still gaining momentum, okay? But anyway, that's why we have secondaries on these, and that's why we started including this transformer, the export transformer, on basically all of our kits now, because it was the domestic transformers um, were not that much cheaper than the actual export transformers. So it's an advantage to have these, and honestly, it's 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 kind of a no-brainer, really. Because I mean, it yeah, sure, you might not ever want to sell it this out of the other, but if it comes up, you know, or you're traveling, or you know, who knows, you become that famous rock star, and you're playing in Belgium, and you need a practice amp on the backstage. Well, this can do it for you. You, know, you don't need to worry about a, a Marshall Code 20 that you know was was built for 120 volts and you can't do anything with it. You only use it in the state, so you have to buy another one over there. So, um, of course, this will travel with you. Okay, so we cover the primaries and secondaries of the actual transformer, and I will do a little tutorial about a little bit more in depth of what these actually do. Okay, so moving on to the output transformer, we have our primaries, which is for Fender vintage Fenders, is uh, for push pull amps is blue, red, and brown. Uh, red is our center tap, our B plus. That's where your main DC comes in, and the blue and the brown are your plate wires. Um, this is the the red is the center of the transformer, and the blue and the brown is the actual ends, the start and the finish of the transformer. But we'll, we'll get more into that as we build. Now, of course, this being the primary, this is your secondary. You <clears throat> most tr output transformers will have a ground, which is almost always universally black. Um, I think Marshall did some weird orange things I, I don't really remember but for vintage fenders it's always black and your secondary your your start is black and your finish will always be a color which is either uh, green or yellow for fenders um, yellow in this case is 8 ohm but for say uh, a pro I believe had green which was 8 ohm so it, it gets messed up you know not messed up but it's different for different amps and as I said in the, in the prior video we also offer a 768 SP output transformer for this that has not only the 8 ohm output but also has a 4 and a 16 okay with it so these 
are what these wires are hanging out. Okay? And I will get more into this as we start to actually do our physical build with this amp. Hang in there. We're getting there. Thank you.